Well, today we have laid the final piece of track uh, for light rail from the city to Mount Garland. So this is a huge milestone uh, and really pleased to see another major milestone reached for light rail uh, in the ACT. Uh, what we can also let the community know today that we can confirm now that services will start operating in early 2018 and we're very excited about planning Sorry, <laughs> we can now confirm that services will start in early 2019 uh, and we can get on with the exciting job of planning how the community can be part of that first light rail ride early next year. Uh, look, at this point, no, I will, uh, I will say early 2019 uh, and there's a reason for that. As we get much closer to the end of this year, we will be able to firm up uh, the particular date uh, but I certainly understand that the Canberra community is really looking forward to knowing the exact date, as am I, uh, but we will look forward to getting further advice on Canberra Metro on the specific date. Uh, look, no, what we have always said from the beginning of this project uh, that safety is our number one priority in terms of delivering the project. So the priority has been safety, then quality, and then the program. So the ACT government's concern uh, and Canberra Metro's highest concern is to make sure the project is delivered safely. We're simply not going to rush it uh, in order to meet a deadline. We are going to make sure it's done safely and of the highest quality. And is there any acknowledgement of that deadline for some reason? Look, no, we've always taken advice from Canberra Metro, uh, and as the Canberra community knows, there was a long and lengthy and design process, a contract signed in 2019 that always indicated construction completion in 2018 uh, and then services to start operating in early 2019. Uh, until recently, Canberra Metro had been optimistic uh, that services would start right at the end of this year. They've now confirmed with us that it won't be until early 2019. Well, what, what Canberra Metro need to do first uh, before the regulator can finally sign off on the project is to have full testing and commissioning along the entire route. Uh, Canberra Metro and Transport Canberra have been working closely with the National uh, Rail Safety Regulator since the beginning. Uh, and they'll continue to do so, but now it is getting very close to them, uh, making sure that the full route uh, can be uh, approved for operations. tell the community is that the new bus network will be rolled out at the beginning of the 2019 school year. So that will happen uh, irrespective of the, dark, the start date of the light rail. Uh, we know that it's really important to make sure that our buses uh, are operating from the beginning of the school year. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so we uh, we have a contingency for either scenario. Can you expand on that? I mean, clearly the part of the way that this network has been constructed is the redeployment of buses that currently yep. go along. Look, there may be some uh, some services where the frequency isn't quite as high uh, to start with, but we will make sure, particularly for school kids and their families, that they have certainty from the beginning of the school year. Oh, well, look, as I say, uh, it has always been anticipated that construction would finish in 2018, uh, and that has been Canberra Metro's advice until very recently, uh, and they've now confirmed that uh, services will start in early 2020. Uh, as in Canberra Metro, uh, as not only the builders of the project, but the operators of the project over the next 20 years. Uh, our priority, as I've said, is safety, quality, uh, and then the program delivery. So uh, we need to prioritise safety and quality of the project. Uh, it's a major infrastructure project for the long-term future of the city. Um, and broadly, uh, we're very pleased with Canberra Metro's progress uh, and in working collaboratively with the ACT government. So, so well, one of the things that's been great about this project, and we said it right from the start, 
is that the ACT taxpayer won't be paying the availability payment to Canberra Metro until services start operating. Will the delay decrease the amount the government has to pay? Uh, look, we will work through those uh, specific features of the contract itself, and there are a couple of options uh, available to transport Canberra. But the important point for the community uh, is that the availability payments will not start until services start rolling down the line. What are those options? Oh, well look, a range of options. There are a range of options in the contract and they could include, for example, uh, extending the, the time of the contract uh, or perhaps uh, penalties in the contract for the start date. But we will work through those matters. As I've said, uh, we have been uh, working closely with Canberra Metro. Uh, we are pleased with the progress. Uh, we remain confident that they will be open with the ACT government about progress and we are pleased uh, to have confirmation from them now that services will start in early 2019. Barring uh, any particular issues around, for example, weather, uh, the regulatory approvals that they need to go through as well. So we'll keep the Canberra community as up to date as possible uh, on the progress. One thing that we'll, the Canberra community will start to see at the end of this year uh, is some of that disruption on the road network, both from the government's investment in the light rail project and in road infrastructure, we will start to see a lot of that ease towards the end of the year, and I know the community is really sensitive to that. You know that. You know that. Expectations of given the seven contractually there was an expectation of the operations, warning that's around the city says services the ACT, and so did various government consortium websites. Do you think that maybe there was a bit of over ambition in getting this off the ground and for the community? Is that the sense of it? Big Look, I don't think so. I think the community has said to me, oh gosh, it's going to start, you know, this soon. Um, and I've heard that frequently from people, which goes to uh, Canberra Metro's uh, delivery of the project as well. So we've seen huge progress. It's really visible progress. Uh, and they've really worked hard to make sure that uh, as some elements of the project, um, for whatever reason, uh, may take a couple more weeks, they've been able to bring forward other elements project. So most We've said for some time that uh, this is getting to some of the hard end of the project and we need to be aware of some of the, a, a number of issues which may arise towards the end of the project. Uh, so I've been saying all year, yes construction is uh, expected to be completed in 2018 but we're in detailed discussions with Canberra Metro about when they can start operations. I've also said previously that you know a late December date doesn't necessarily suit the community. Everyone's getting busy for Christmas. Uh, it doesn't necessarily make sense to start the biggest infrastructure project in Canberra's history uh, on Christmas Eve uh, because people have got many better things to do. So um, all those factors have weighed in, but what is confirmed now is that the construction uh, will be completed this year and operations will start uh, in early 2019. Of their light rail stops, and we do also know that a lot of school buses and school change to a lot of people are using this bicycle. And this hasn't So, I guess the question that I'm asking is, is like, how is it worth it? Oh, look, it, this is worth it because it's the single biggest investment in public transport in Canberra's history between. Uh, $50 million in operations of the bus network, $43 million uh, for new buses, as well as this light rail project. We are building the biggest ever investment in public transport in Canberra's history. Um, this is what our city needs. It's future-proof in the city. Everyone knows that the city is growing. Uh, we need to make sure we do what very few cities in Australia have done, and that is build the infrastructure first. Uh, and not wait for the congestion to get so bad uh, and to cripple the community and the economy uh, with road congestion uh, and also encourage more and more people to catch public transport in the ACT. Uh, and that's important to start reducing emissions because in 2020, uh, Canberra will be the first city 100% powered by renewable electricity. That's a huge achievement for the ACT government and the ACT community. But what it does mean is that many of our emissions after 2020 will come from the transport sector. We've got to invest in public transport. 
for our community, for our economy, and for our environment. Um, so just beyond 2019, we've got this amazing place to go. New date, let's go to the start. Beyond 2019, what plans are there to essentially expand um, by rail as yeah, well, we, and we've always said that, that stage one of light rail is about a light rail network and integrated public transport for the whole city. So we're getting on with, uh, with stage two of light rail to Woden. The government's firm commitment is to deliver stage two of light rail to Woden. Uh, we will also start thinking about stage three of light rail uh, and where that should go with the best route for that as well. So uh, if we have taken this to the community on many occasions. Uh, and I think the community well and truly knows that to future-proof our growing city, we need major investments in public transport. This has been a huge year for building and investing in public transport, and we'll see a real transformation of the city in 2019. Uh, to really understand the investment that they have backed. 